Hello friends, it's Aftron here from Other Miniatures and today mm, we're gonna be finally getting onto the uh, truck itself. So what is the plan for today? The plan is to build a shanty town on top of the track bed. Yeah. Uh, just at the and extend the track a little bit. Maybe add some weapons. I think so. Yeah, so let's just get on the table and see what we can do with that. And we're on the table. We have the track so far, you know, the only conversions we did to that was cutting the entire thing to the pieces, adding this in here and this in here. So what I want to do next is extend the floor on each side. I just want to make it wider because well, reasons the shanty town ain't gonna fit on a very tiny floor. So I have some hot glue today and you know, like this isn't my favorite glue to work on models, yeah? Terrain wise, I always say hot glue is great, but models, uh, not so much, yeah? But, 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 I learned that gluing the, mm, what do you call it now? Uh, this, metal pieces with super glue is extremely hard so i rather just you know make my life a little bit easier and avoid it as much as possible so hot glue it is today <laughs> yeah i like to make my life easier so yeah and you know i know that this is just you know a flimsy connection so i have just cut a very unevenly a sheet of plastic art and I'm just gonna take roughly this much and again no measuring nothing yeah because if I'm gonna start measuring in here and you know especially with what we did for the workshop floor where I have all of those little gribblies uh, gribbling you know on the floor this is gonna just destroy the uh, entire immersion of this being scratched from you know crap lying around so again the same story it's gonna be going over just to hold all of the plates together nicely yeah but first this is i think dry enough now so i can attach the other side just a bit of hot glue a little prayer to whatever gods you believe in if you don't believe in gods, you know, it could be prayers to other stuff, like a milk carton. Yep. And you know, it's gonna, I think that it's gonna turn out to be a little bit wider than the floor of the workshop. Let's just see. If it's gonna be wider than the bottom floor of the workshop yeah just a tiny bit wider and when we add the top floor and I noticed that I need to move top floor more to the back and yeah, just being overhanging here so it's gonna be sitting better over the maybe it was like that whatever just you know just gonna be sitting over the hole yeah but we have this and now let's disassemble that yeah that's enough of good things we need to start doing stuff that have to be done mm. so yeah this mm. there are some bits in here i just feel them so we just take the nozzle and try to flatten them out with the hot. Oh yeah, there is the with the hot end of the hot glue gun. And let's see if this is gonna fit. Can I use a super glue on that? Yeah. Now it's definitely gonna 
fit and I think that even using a plastic glue would be a better idea just for the bonding purposes, you know? So let's grab a plastic glue instead of super glue. I have it over here. And give it nice buff in that stuff. Yeah, there is always this one shiny side on this plastic card and one which isn't so shiny. And I prefer the not so shiny side to glue. That's why I always use the shiny side to be hidden, you know, on the big surfaces. And this plastic card costed me pennies in comparison to buying from like Green Stuff World or any other of those, you know, plastic card selling companies. I bought it from Polish version of eBay called Allegro. And I got giant sheets for pennies. My poor father had to cut them into smaller pieces and send it to me though. So <laughs> that was one thing. Okay, so this one is drying. What next? I think that I'm gonna have to put some sort of material in here in between. Yeah, and I already see that when I was putting the hot glue, I did screw up a little bit. So let's just clean it up. Right, I have this somewhat cleaned up. And I think that I figured out the setup on my phone to actually stop it from constantly zooming in and out. So there's gonna be no more of this jittering. Yeah, I really hope for that. Because I, when I was watching my own videos back, you know, it was driving me nuts. And I was just like, buying a decent camera for your own hobby would be lovely, but I simply cannot afford a good camera right now. And the only camera I own are pretty much my phones. So yeah. And you know, now I have to go to gribbling. So I'm gonna do the floor gribbling like I did in the workshop and I'll be right back. Because you know, this have to dry and you know, you already seen me gribbling the floor for the workshop. So yeah just to speed it up and most of it are gonna be covered anyway by the shanty town but still you know I just feel like building it up and you know filling it in is something that I want to do yeah so I'll be right back after I just gribble the floor nicely and I'm back this may look like I skipped a couple of steps ahead but I only just you know dry brushed this because most of this is gonna be invisible yeah, anyway, because there's going to be buildings on it, but I still wanted this to be painted. So now let's start assembling the shanty town. So mm, first buildings, haha, <laughs> that's going to be kind of hard. Yeah, so I would love this to be well about this high, because I want it to be a little bit taller than the soldier, about a centimeter taller which is fine. And how much do I want to leave for the walkway around? I would be fine with this. All right. So, oh my goodness. Where did I put my scissors? I have them, I have them, yes. I found them. Okay, so let's start cutting the popcorn and building the buildings. Uh, so this is gonna be the inside part. Sorry, I just need to kind of make myself visualize this first and then it's gonna be much easier. So this go on the inside just to hold it together. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Not in the good way. Here. 
Right, and let's go into the time lapse mode now.
<coughs> so here we have it the shanty town added to the truck and the main gun sticking out the front now the only thing i need to do is to throw a little bit of paint on it and then let's just get into the painting process so just before the painting process i decided to add this to the town this is gonna be the water supply for them and it's gonna be sitting on top of the shanty i don't know how this is gonna support it because structurally speaking this would be impossible yeah but it never stopped me before so why would it stop me now yeah like i said logic is not really that important when you are building for gaslands it's more about the look of the object than about the logic behind it so i have this and just grab maybe this piece of pipe and sorry just this time around i have to somewhat measure This is right. Oh, too long, that's okay. Better too long than too short. Okay, so this can work as a support piece and as a pipe providing the water to the buildings. And now I can black bomb it and come back with painting. All right, so I have it painted and somewhat dry and I prepared some colors to throw on this because uh, how I see shanties usually, yeah, they are very colorful because they are built out of different materials. So um, they wouldn't be monochromic in my opinion. Yeah, so. I'm painting different panels now in green. Yeah, this is Goblin Green from Games Workshop. Yeah, and I'm just picking like, I think four, maybe five different panels just to paint in this color. And maybe some on the roofs here. And maybe here, this one. And again, using a biggest brush I can, you know, get away with. Now just rinsing this. <clears throat> and I'm gonna be switching to red color. And this red color is very wa uh, watery and runny. So it's not gonna be perfect, but, you know, good enough. So just, again, picking a few panels. So one in here one in here <clears throat> this one in here as well uh, do we have something on the front that i can paint easily yes this one okay maybe this one in here as well and something in the back and maybe something on the second floor as well yeah, and the third color, because I decided to go for the triad of colors in here, gonna be blue, and this is the, the ultramarine blue that I have. It's very bad, it's kind of dry off and whatever, but, you know, just to do this, it's okay. Yeah, like I wouldn't use it on proper miniatures, but for buildings, why not? Yeah. It's just giving the really bluish wash, but I wouldn't call it a proper color. 
and the tank you know I know it was blue originally but I'm gonna still paint it blue and this is gonna be the main splashes of colors probably on this entire build and again just getting some of that blue out yep. and sorry that I took out the car from the viewer but otherwise I would smack the camera and yay and I even gonna paint this pipe you know I would say if they already put so much work into beautifying the shanty they would as well you know go for the pipe all right and now with the same giant brush yeah I'm just gonna grab some metallic and put metallic everywhere I think it should be and you know I was watching one of the episodes of Shadow and Sun show some time ago and they was like you know when you dry brushing if you just scrape the, the paint on the edge of the container you're gonna save a lot of paint and I was like wow this is actually quite smart idea yeah so you can see that I just did that yeah and wow I scraped too much <laughs> yeah I want some the some of the metallic to actually go through so yeah it ain't gonna be that much of a dry brushing it's gonna be more of a wet brushing yeah. so just you know because even if you're gonna leave it very spotty and splodgy yeah as a paint job it's still gonna work it is a shanty town it's ain't supposed to be nice and crisp And the ladders definitely have to be painted metallic. So yeah, a lot of this, you know, black-ish paint. And you know, even if you have like splotches of green or red or blue on your uh, flooring, it still works because, you know, when they was painting those panels, they probably spilled the paint. So I don't even bother to clean it up too well, just, you know, a little bit of paint job. Yeah. And I again run out of the metallic. Oh. And to be completely honest, I don't have a clue how the red get on the water cistern, but who cares, it can be there. So now this one, just slap the paint in here, smudge some in here as well, in here, on the cannon, yeah. All right, all right. And even the yellow of the glue can be explained, you know, somehow, if you really, really need to explain it. But I think that is it for the paint job today. Yeah, it looks gnarly enough for the gas lens, so I'm gonna dry it off and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do some gluing again. And that how it looks dried. Yeah. It's quite solid. Now we just have to glue in the bottom floor of the workshop and the top floor of the workshop. Yeah. I didn't actually plan for doing this today. But 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 since this actually went so well, I'm just thinking, you know, why not reward myself? with something that looks, you know, much better than I was expecting it to look today. So, heck yeah. And you know, like, I'm probably gonna be putting some sort of little plates in here. Yeah, and definitely something in here. But not right now. And now 
the top floor. Yeah, that's why I left so much space, you know, but I can still squeeze my fingers inside. Yeah. Now the top floor, and you can see how this water tank is actually going almost on the table. And to be honest, it's okay. It's how you know I envision that it's gonna be this messy, clumpy. You know, all together, and it's, it's there's still gonna be drop ramps in here to drop the cars. I don't know how many and how I'm gonna exactly do them, yeah, but it's still gonna get wider in here. I'm probably gonna have to make some supports for this to don't tilt, maybe some extra wheels, or even maybe some small cars, you know, being as an extra support for the entire thing. But for right now. I'm quite happy with it, how it looks. I'm not happy with this, how it is wagging its tail here because of the way on, in the middle this part is actually lifting up. Yeah, but I'm gonna add some supports as well. So let's just glue it. And I can tell you straight away that I don't think that my spin table can support this weight. Yep. All right, all right, all right. Come on. And there we have it. Yeah, there's gonna be a walkway going here. You know, the, just a, a small plank that I'm gonna put in there. But there you have the workshop and the other workshop and everything attached together. Oh, let's not forget the car that was a star of this all the time, yeah, just sitting in here. Okay. To be completely honest, I'm more, I'm extremely happy with today's progress. Yeah, so <laughs> I will try to throw it on this. No, I wouldn't try to, to throw it on the speed table. I'm just gonna remove my phone now. And you're gonna see the massive mess on my uh, mess on my desk. But this is how it turned out thus far. Yeah. Let's just turn it a little bit. Come on. So yeah, this is it for today. If you liked it, please rate, comment and subscribe. Share with your friends, family and whoever else want to watch it. And everybody have a lovely day and take care.